Hi, my name is Delaney Snyder and I am one of the biggest Disney fans that you'll probably ever meet. Um, I've been to Disney World about 24 times or so. Um, I'm only 25 years old, so just about every year of my life. Um, I've been to Disneyland three times and I just recently went to Disney Hong Kong. Um, it's definitely one of my dreams to be able to go to all the Disney parks. So I would love the opportunity to watch 30 Disney movies in 30 days. Um, for my Disney review, it was really hard for me to decide. Both of my favorite Disney movies um, are underrated. I would say one is my favorite Disney movie of all time, and then I have a favorite Disney princess movie. My favorite Disney princess movie would be Tangled, which is extremely underrated. Um, but the movie that I'm actually going to review is my all-time favorite, which is Fox and the Hound. So, um, Fox and the Hound, one being one of the most underrated movies of all time, there are like no souvenirs that you can get at Disney World, um, or Disneyland for that matter, and this Todd doll is the only thing I've ever gotten at Disney World. I do have some Disney pins, but I actually uh, got those online, like on eBay. They were like limited edition ones, but like you can never find anything at Disney World or Disneyland. Um, why Fox and the Hound is my favorite Disney movie. It has so many life lessons in it. Um, first of all, from the very beginning, obviously, um, there's the death of Todd's mother, but also the death of Widow Tweed's husband. So it shows both death of like a parent and then also of a loved one and how um, at the time of the beginning of the movie, Todd and Widow Tweed both needed each other. Um, this is like a really um, hard life lesson on both sides um, and so I think it's really important and not something that you normally see in a Disney movie. I think most of the lessons in Fox and the Hound are really deep and I think that's why it makes it such a powerful and important Disney movie that I think everybody should watch. So it talks about like the struggles of like a mother figure having to have her child leave the nest when she has to send Todd off into the woods which is probably arguably the most sad scene in all Disney movies. Um, sadder than Bambi. I honestly think it's sadder than Mufasa. Um, I mean, Todd doesn't even know what's going on and she's just trying to not break down in tears and then of course the poem that she like sings, heartbreaking. Um, also something like super powerful in the lessons of Fox and the Hound is that not having seeing differences between people and just being friends. Obviously Todd and Copper are supposed to be mortal enemies and they are best friends. And also something that you don't see a lot in movies, the friendship growth that happens between Todd and Copper. At the beginning they obviously love each other and they're super fr like good friends as children but then as they grow up um, I think it's like super realistic and makes an impact of showing how their relationship progresses and at the very end when um, Copper saves Todd it's like showing how even though they've grown apart they still have this mutual respect for one another and um, that's how their friendship has progressed throughout time. And lastly one of the most impactful lessons from Fox and the Hound is the respect for women. Um, when Todd kind of like throws a hissy fit and then um, Big Mama tells him that he needs to appreciate his lady and there's a whole song about it and telling him that if he appreciates her then he, she will appreciate him back and I don't think you really see that in any other Disney movie. I mean most of them are like dances in distress so I think this is really one of the first and almost only ones where they really talk about how you should be in a relationship so um, I think with all of those I don't see how this movie is not one of the top rated films. I think that this film is a little bit underrated and should be shown more and shown to kids nowadays because it does have a lot of important life lessons. So I hope you liked my review and I hope that you guys choose me to watch the 30 movies in 30 days because this will be very easy for me as I'm very excited to watch it and was probably gonna get the Disney Plus anyway. Thanks!